guys, and welcome back to another episode of Total Control with Wesker. We have total control of conceding late goals. You know, I'm still getting over the late goal that we conceded. I thought we were on for a point and possibly could even push on to all three. Now, it's hard to... It's important to differentiate because when you switch to attacking, the team will have more shots because they will be more likely to take pot shots from distance no matter what you do. So... I'm going to make sure that we've got shoot less often on them anyway, because I feel like we need to be on the front foot. We're going to try stuff out against Cadith because they're a lower league team. And where are they actually in the league? Let's, while we can have a little look. 12th in the league of two. So we're going to try an attacking approach from the start against them and see if we can really push at them. And I know they're a second tier team, but it will still give me an idea if we're on the right track before the massive game against Espanyol of the weekend. Now we've got a nice bit of time off in between for us to really work on some stuff as well, which will be very useful. I actually don't want to match practice there. I want to bring in some more technical training instead. Also a team bonding session because we really do need to keep the team going. Uh, a little bit of a rest on the Sunday. An attacking movement session here before the game against Cadiz. Now, so, uh, Espanyol's at home as well. So I'm going to put an attacking movement session in here too so we can actually try and be a bit more proactive, really. But my lord, um, it, it's just so, so, so frustrating. But you've got to just try and channel that into trying to figure out what's going wrong. So I don't believe that going through the middle was the key. I think the wider play definitely had us improve. We still looked all right going through the middle, but I still feel like our best play comes down the wings. We don't want to be getting stuck in. It will stop us conceding as many free kicks. That's another side effect. We're going to train it for the next game anyway, because I want to try it out. And I really want to keep building up some of these links. Like I would say, Gaillard, he got the assist for Gallego's goal. It, it's what happened, you know? But Insua did have a really poor game in the last match, and that is something worth paying attention to. But we'll, we'll revisit this in a moment. Well, let's just get going for now. It, it's not a good place to be. At least we are starting to score a couple of goals now, but the defence is not quite as stable as it was anymore. Um, but when you look at the types of goals we're conceding, it is, it is interesting to say the least. And if he could cross from deep, perhaps, like we used to, he can maybe get some balls into this channel anyway. I, I just feel like we're not creating as much from this right-hand side in general. So trying to force the issue there seems a bit fruitless. And it might also be because Toure is on this side of the pitch, which means that he's going to be more likely to play the ball into Gaia anyway, because he's going to be closer to him for the most part. Got to make sure everybody is on shoot less often, though, because, like, Gallego, he's going to know when to shoot because he's going to get into positions to shoot. What's in Sua's dribbling like? considering he's a ball-playing defender. His dribbling's only nine, so it's not really what I want from him. Um, he can make that... He can definitely make the most of that. The issue, I think, against um, Villarreal was, with the two strikers, the way they had them set up, he couldn't burst into the spaces, and he was probably losing the ball too much because of the way that they were set up. I think against teams that play a single striker with wingers, he's going to have a lot more room to manoeuvre into those positions. I do also feel that it's fair to say there has been a little bit of an element of just poor fortune in some of these matches. I feel like some of them, we probably easily get a draw out not even easily but we should get a draw out of on another day we've just not quite had the rub of the green in terms of the way the ball's fallen in certain scenarios but swings and roundabouts in theory that's all averages itself out over the season so and hopefully we will get some of those things going for us later in the year as well manchester united manager antonio conte apparently is unhappy with my treatment of tahi chong to be fair he's been injured for most of his spell here i feel like unfortunately in the first season in most of these saves nothing you say makes any difference the dressing room atmosphere is not good, so we can't really use that one. There's a lot of football to be played. You get the chance. Okay. Thank you, Christian. Not Christian. Gonzalo. Okay, the French lad that we were looking at. Yeah, not not really for me, I don't think. Maximovic at Getafe is a very, very decent looking... Um, but look at this. The money's ridiculous. Jabril Sal, who plays for Young Boys. I mean, look at the price money on... Like, Emmanuel Awu as well. From And from Admiravaka, those... Those guys know how to bring through players. And look at the acceleration. Luis Senior is now developing concerns. I swear we've only just taken him out of the team. I, I feel like I can make the promise to start him because he is going to get playing time. We're going to have to rotate that position anyway. The left-hand side is very important, it would seem. For, nope, they're not interested in that. Go on, attacking mentality. They don't agree with an attacking mentality against a team from the lower division. Mother of God. Okay, so I might actually rotate a bit for this game because of Espanyol. Partly due to that and partly just due to the necessity anyway. So I think Walker Peters is going to come back in. Luisinho is going to come back in as well. I would bring Polito in, but not anymore. Why should we? Going to start Tahir Chong. Oh, no, we can't start Tahir Chong because he's still knackered from international. I might start Galan as well. I'm actually tempted, you know, to start Mango and see what he's like in this game. Bring Gallego off the bench instead. Keep Torre in there with those balls. Maybe don't look for the overlap on the right. Again, because I just don't think that's going to work if we're not getting them far enough forward. Hopefully, we can come up with a win here because it would really, really help boost the morale again. Have they actually played a game where they've sorted this system out? Okay, so they played that against Elche. And no, I mean, they also played it against Alcocon. Um, but we don't know much about that. So we'll go with the Elche game. Let's have a little look. So Salvi Sanchez was kind of their key man, it would seem. Uh, positional heat match. Very kind of 
average, really. Although, look at this. 18 and 7 get massively involved. Do we have any data on the Osasuna game, too? We do. Okay, so that's that's a strange one. They had a different system for that one, though. So we can take that kind of with a pinch of salt. I'm more interested in how they played against Elche, because that's clearly what they're going to try and do against us. Ease off of Hyro here and go after... Well, actually, it's not Salvi that's playing, but you figure they'll probably try and do something similar. Actually, screw it. We'll mark both of them up just to be sure. I'm always concerned about marking too, putting too many instructions in here. But then I've also seen decent success with it in the past, so it's a bit of a give and take. Right. Okay. I feel like it's worth giving Mango a start here, trying some, a few little things out. Keeping Toure in the team, though, because I want to see if we can hit these balls. All right, then. Let's have this. Um, I think with a more attacking approach, putting on shoot less often on a lot of the players just to stop them from perhaps making unnecessary shots, but still keeping the tempo high, doing what we do and seeing what we can do against Cadiz here. Hopefully we can come up with something. Mango is definitely going to be available for balls in behind if we can find the right opportunity. Luisinho as well is a good dribbler. Galan out in the wide area, but all the way across for Juanpi straight away. Uh, ball in, cleared away. Toure. Galan blocked. Another good cross needed, Luisinho, and it's flicked into the bottom corner by Gabardino Mango. Would you bloody believe it? The Mango Man scores his first goal for SD Huesca within five minutes of his debut. Um, I thought we'd give him a try in the cup. This is a wonderful ball in from Luisinho as well. Just dropped off to him, first time ball. Mango's lovely header. He's not the tallest, is he, Mango? But he's got the goal. Actually, he does look quite tall. Let's just check that superb start just as actually we got an early goal against Oviedo as well but I want to see if we've got more in us tonight good possession so far maybe the changes are finally starting to um work out for us now again it's a, a lower division team so we've got to take the result with a pinch of salt in a way but you know we, we sort of huffed and puffed a little bit against Oviedo as well come on lads show a bit of intensity Rivera options over the top for Mango he's through again Oh, what an opportunity that was for Mango. It could have been another goal. This is far more encouraging. I want to see us run up the scoreline, though. Two or three goals today. Glan, great save. And it's put... Oh, my God, what a stop from the second ball. What I also want is Toure getting the ball in these positions, looking for those balls in behind, like this potentially. Oh, he could... Oh, hang on. quampy has got to find Mango here, surely. Mango! Yes, it's 2-0. Gabardino Mango getting in the position, and the Mango man makes it 2-0 with his second goal of the night. Um, but this was simple play. Toure gets the ball, drives forward with it, whips it out wide for Juanpi, and Mango is just so much faster than the defence. Simple ball through, lovely finish from Mango. Um, I actually thought Toure maybe could have put that through the middle, but he didn't need to. Well, if nothing else, we are surely going through to the fourth round of the Copa del Rey, and we've scored two goals in a game for the first time this season. Like, he's got into positions and he's put them away. He actually had... He could have had a third goal, remember? It's genuinely slightly impressive how much of the ball they've suddenly won off of us. Mango got it again, though. He's got pace about him. He's got good dribbling. He just needs to spread this and keep the play moving. Galan. Whip that ball in, maybe. Torre. Oh, stop it. Well, excellent first half from us. We really did let them come back into it once we got 2-0 up, though, frustratingly. The possession, particularly. I think if we can start getting in on that centre-back a little bit, because they, they're keeping the ball an awful lot with a number 22. Like, too much. Torre's won it back, though. Mango into the channel for Quampi. Got to find it back across for someone, and it's going to be a corner. Musto. A bit more damage to potentially cause with a longer one this time. Musto. Whips it all the way across. It's going to come back to him for a second time. Goes short for Rivera. Long ranger coming here, surely. Oh, yeah, Toure, and it's out for another corner. They're playing it around the middle way too much. They need to be getting this ball out wide. Look, why is Toure not getting to these positions? Why is this guy just doddling around with it? Do we need to up the passing directness or something? Because they're just taking way too long on it. Look, all three of them. Just pass it out wide. What are you doing? And then it's an aimless ball. Into the That's actually a really good ball for Mango. But, and to be fair, not bad work, actually. Musto, Quampi, Toure. Here we go. This is where we want Toure. We want Mango running to the channel. There he goes. Mango's through. Ah. I mean, I don't know how well this performance is going to translate into the league. I, I really don't. But it was definitely a promising start to the match. Definitely. Getting 2-0 up was very encouraging. Um, Cadiz really did change something to get back. Oh, for Pete's sake. What? <laughs> What are you doing? Honestly, I still think we look better with the attacking mentality. I just don't think we've created as much as I would have liked uh, without it, to be honest. Finds Mank. Go. Into the channel. He's got to pull it across for someone. He finds Wampy. Oh, what a chance that was. Mango carving out a great opportunity with a great ball in behind there. That's more like it again. We probably should have had another goal there. Mango did really, really well. Echeta cleared. And it's going to come back across and cleared away. And there we go. Cadiz nil. SD Huesca. Two. We've won a match, albeit in the cup, but Mango's grabbed himself a pair of goals. Man of the match performance from him. 
definitely some good time. I just, I don't know. We're going to have to try the attacking mentality out against Espanyol at the weekend and see what we can come up with. Mango won't be able to start that game because he's going to be too knackered, but at least it's it's something. And we're through in the cup, I suppose. That will help the morale quite considerably. Mango was great. Every shot on target, even had a key header. He didn't win a lot of headers. That's fine. The one he did win, though, was a goal. Key passes. Four passes for Yaya Toure again. Okay, Espanyol playing a similar system to us, interestingly. The last game was a 3-0 victory over Getafe, and they had a lot of shots as well. My assistant, in every game, wants me to push higher up and have a higher line of engagement, and I'm kind of wondering if maybe we actually should. Maybe that's the final bastion of the reason we had that annoying defensive situation uh, is because the, we're still sitting too deep to our box, and we're playing Malaga in the next round. Musto's got a tight hamstring, and he's probably going to miss today's game, which is a frustration stations to be honest so Aguilera is gonna have to play again Yaya Toure is creeping up now which is good um because he technically could get away with playing uh, but a lot of these guys aren't gonna start so Galan he's not gonna start Gaillard will definitely come in Mango as much as I'm pleased with him for that performance I'm still gonna bring Gallego back in for this league game here Toure will continue to keep his place Rivera and Musto uh I'll bring Mor Miramon back in for Walter Peters and see who does better I might keep Luisinho in today. It's just such a big drop down from Musto to Aguilera. That's the problem. But I'm going to have Aguilera on the bench because we need that. Okay, so similar system to us. Defensive midfielder, box-to-box -box midfielder, deep-line playmaker instead. Uh, so Dada is probably the guy to go after in that sense. They've got a complete forward and no inside forwards. So it's going to be all about Iglesias. They're a positive team, flexible. What have they done recently? They beat Getafe very, very handedly uh, with Iglesias scoring a goal in that game. Presumably... The wings look very, very strong. Although they did actually go through the centre, but they played a different system, to be fair. So that's not really something we can fairly analyse about this one. Nope. Short passing. So that should allow us to get in on them without fear of them just, like, lumping it. They're currently pretty high up in the league, too. They can see a lot from crosses, particularly from the right. Their assist location is actually outside the penalty area. We're the home team. We're going to come out on the front foot and try to press them a little bit and see what we can do with the aggressive attack minded i might leave that for like the first sort of 25 minutes and then tone it back a little bit to give ourselves a break go out like all guns blazing then taper it back a little bit and then use it again there's a lot on the line here we've lost seven in a row we went out there and got a good win in the cup uh performed really nicely got a clean sheet as well which is really good it's good for confidence but we'll have to see piatti i think we're gonna just t touch it back to positive at the moment because at the moment we are under the cosh so far they have really taken control of this match at the moment and we are offering very, very little. Jovanovic, another save. Because it is not happening yet. But we haven't conceded yet. Which is the main thing. Gayar. And saved again by Jovanovic. I might up the passing directness immediately, to be honest. Um, this opening 15 minutes has been appalling. Go on, Gayar again. Options left and right. Finds Wampi. He's actually got a really good ball. Can Wampi find Gallego? Yes! And we've caught them. That is an absolute smash and grab. No denying that. Huesca won. Espanyol nil. We've scored another game. It's another game and another goal. Gaia actually finds a really good ball here. Juanpi makes an excellent run in behind. They should have done better with this. Once Juanpi gets the ball here, Gallego holds his run and absolutely thunders that into the back of the net. And we lead by a goal to nil for the first time in the league this season. Come on. And it means nothing because right now this game is hanging in the balance for us. Uh, we're... I'm going to switch to cautious at this point because we've actually got something to hang on to and keep playing the same style, essentially. And part of me kind of wonders if we actually should up our pressing intensity even more and really try and get in on them and harry them off the ball. Because they look super duper dangerous. Look at these balls into the channel. Iglesias. Oh, I don't think a deeper... I think a deeper line is what we need right now. I think they're getting way too many opportunities in behind us. 20 minutes in. I mean, we're going to need like the world's best defensive display for the next 70 minutes to get anything from this match. That's the issue. They seem to have this weird thing about not playing it to the wingers. It's so strange. Miramon, Rivera, right, use him. There we go, Whampy, have a little run, mate. Goes past one. Gallego needs to make a run now. He has done. And even if we were to somehow turn this into a win from where we are, like, which is winning, um, I would still have a lot of things to look at, frankly. Toure, Gaia. Ball across and Gallego. Watch us end up conceding a free kick or something to screw this up. What I wanted to be doing is hitting these passes. Like, we've taken two steps out of it if he can hit these balls straight away rather than having us uh, play it out to those passes. Now, it's going to cost us in other places because... There's only so many times you can... I don't understand what is with this bloody free kick. Look at this. What the f... Run the segment. the f***?
was that? I'm so sick of them. I don't believe that's just gone. I'm like, fair enough, they deserve an equaliser because they've been very good tonight. But that is so bloody stupid. I'm gonna push it back to positive now. Like, fair enough, they were almost certainly gonna get back into this match. We knew that. But like that, come on. This has not been a very good performance in general. We were very fortunate to get in front in the way that we did. And we have actually had another chance since then. Um, I think in the second half, we might just try and go hell for leather at them again and see what comes up, frankly, because at the moment they are not... Um, they are looking very likely to score another goal, is what I'm saying. And they're actually giving us an awful lot of space on this right-hand side. I do wonder if maybe there is room for a fullback to come forward. As much as I want to go, no, let's just sit. But I don't think... I think if we sat, it wouldn't make any difference. They would score a goal. Probably get a free kick or something. I'm going to stop him distributing like that. I just don't think that was going to happen. I, th if you could actually get them to do what you want, like where he's specifically distributing it in certain scenarios in different ways, brilliant. But that's not an option, unfortunately, because it's not like in real life they'd have that option. Because as we all know, goalkeepers distribute the ball in the same way no matter what scenario you're in. I'm doing it. We're turning off cross from deep. We're going to have him get further forward and actually make something of this match uh, with some overlaps on the right. Because I think there's going to be space there because we're getting the ball out to that wing way too frequently. And I think if we can push Miramon forward a bit, it might cause us some cause them some problems. Like a draw would technically be a good point, but we need more than that. You know, they're a good side, but we've got to be showing a bit more than that. <laughs> I feel like half the goals we've conceded this year have been from free kicks in one way or another, which is actually somewhat impressive, to be honest. Torres actually had a really poor day of it, unfortunately, um, which is a shame for him. Rivera, oh, if he could have slipped that through for someone. Oh, yes, Diego! Oh, what a chance that was. He was in. Goes for Juanpi. Cutting inside, and it's a great save from Diego Lopez. Really good position there for Juanpi. Gets into the spot, gets the shot away, and he nearly makes it 2-1 to us. Juanpi's ball again. Rivera's flick on header, cleared away again, and Jose Angel will bring it down. Juanpi for another opportunity. He's going to be offside, isn't he? No. Ejeta. Gallego has been good today, but I feel like 15 minutes of mango, and you never know what can happen. That's all I'm going to say. It does feel like we've, in spite of their pressure in the second half, actually probably been better. Not than them, but better in general. Piatti, free kick in. I'm so sick of it. Um, oh, for f the guy. Oh, this isn't even about the defending of the set pieces. What is going on? I'm going to adjust the set piece strategy for defending them again and make sure that we're training it before every single match now because it's clearly a source of problems. But that is bloody ridiculous now. That how many times our goalkeeper is just doing outrageous things from those bloody free kicks? Ah. Uh, how is he on a 7.1? He's literally responsible for both of their goals. That's the best goalkeeper rating I've seen for a while. Right, we're going to adjust it. The problem is, it's just futile, it seems, to defend free kicks at the moment. I'm trying to remember how I managed to stop it with Stockport. I think it was just, we had so much better players than everybody else. We're going to have to look at defending free kicks, because that is the only thing that we're conceding goals from anymore. We, we need to sort out the free kicks. We're going to train defending free kicks before every single match from now on, because I'm not having this anymore. Um... We're going to work in the start of the next episode on a different free kick defending routine. I might just reset it to default, to be honest, because although that's basically what I did anyway. Like, I first made some changes, and then that did not have any effect. Uh, in fact, it made it worse. And then we changed it back, and now look where we are. Um, how many fouls do we actually concede? 14. It's a fair amount, I grant you. But, like, that's still not an acceptable amount of free kicks to be conceded. It is actually insane. So seven goals this year have been as a result of that, and that is insane. But... It's clear to see that that's where the problem lies. So if we can plug that problem, things will go well. I'm just... But whatever, really. We, we've got to move on um, and try to sort something out for Severe. But we'll do that in the next video because right now I'm going to go drown myself in a bucket. So if you've enjoyed this episode and the meme which this league season... The cup will probably win the Copa del Rey at this pace. Um, then drop a like. That'll be gorgeous. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe as I slowly go mad. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.